Rich DiCaprio, head coach and GM of the Boston Junior Rangers. A 3-1 loss for you in game one of your semifinal series against the Railers. Uh, first, take us through your, sh uh, your thoughts of the game. Uh, well, I thought that we really didn't play well for probably 48 minutes out of that game. Yep. Um, you know, obviously, unfortunately, we lost Beal early in the first. Um, he was our best player. But, uh, you know, we got guys that will step up. I'm not sure if he'll be able to play tomorrow. But, you know, I don't think we really played our game. We could try to be a little too individual, too reliant on skill and, instead of just chipping in and going to get it. So um, we didn't play great. But, hey, that's what I told my guys before the game even started. We're not winning anything today. It's just a game. You don't win anything. You don't lose anything. It's, it's, uh, it's a three-game series. 100%. It, it happened so early on. You never plan for it to lose your leading scorer like that, but how do you try and adjust and, and almost stay calm on the bench? Well, we got, I mean, that's why the, the luxury of having 13 forwards dressed, right? Yeah. You can still, it's not like we had to trim down to 11 guys and, and we still re were able to run four lines, but not having Brett is, is a big, you know, it hurts on the power play and, and it's, you know, he's a big part of the reason why we're here. Um, but like I said, we've got plenty of depth and, you know, we'll be fine. Um, we just got to come with a better effort as a team tomorrow. You know, we, like I said, we, we were too individual today, and um, you know, but we'll be ready to go tomorrow. One of those pieces of depth that you have is Tay Mellis. Mm -hmm. He hit the post. I mean, it felt like he had just started the game early yeah. on, right? And he hasn't scored yet, though, in the postseason. Is he getting frustrated? I don't think so. Um, you know, I thought that went in from the bench. It looked <laughs> real close. Uh, you know, I don't think he's getting frustrated. Like Bichetto hadn't scored a goal yet until today, um, so. I'm hoping that that Tay can, you know, maybe do something tomorrow. But he he makes things happen every shift. I mean, the, every time he's on the ice, it's electric. And, uh, but again, he was one of the guys too who were a little bit reliant on his skill and and trying to get cute. And um, but tomorrow, like I said, if we get put our put our heads down, work, uh, you know, I think we'll have a hopefully the right result. And is that what the message was? Because last series you had the same exact start. You fell behind one game to none, came back to win. Did you say the same thing tonight? Yeah, I did. I, I, and I said it like. You, like I said before the game, we're not winning a championship tonight. You're not losing a championship tonight. You're just playing tomorrow regardless if you win or lose. So, you know, tomorrow is it. we got to back it to the wall, and, and we got to make sure that the guys are dialed in and rested tonight. And, you know, the Walpole series was tough. Um, you know, the triple overtime, and guys are, are feeling it. But, you know, at the same time, this is championship hockey. you got to fight through it. Yep. So. Well, thanks, Coach, for us tomorrow. All right, thanks. We're going to bring in Sean Bertoni next. Uh, playoff game. Uh, I thought it was tough. It was physical. Both teams, uh, you know, we had a slow start. They came out fast, and I thought we were a little shocked the first couple minutes of the game, and then we settled in. Um, but I thought both teams uh, brought it. Um, and, you know, we talked about net front all the time, and that was really the difference today. It felt like early on they had an immediate chance that went off the post, and then you just cranked with the physicality. Is that the message? Yeah, I mean, we always want to set the tone. We, we worry so much about us and, and dictating the pace of play and the physicality, you know, cleanly. Um, and uh, sometimes you gotta you got to amp it up a little bit in playoff hockey. Guys are playing hurt. Guys are playing uh, beat up. So um, we want to make sure we finish every check. And uh, we talked earlier this week because this is your second straight appearance here at the front open. You kind of laughed in saying that you forgot just how young your team was. So we're going to go one at a time with new additions. First, Tristan Boyer, a goal and an assist. To, to add a D like that after you lose what you lost this past year, how big has he been for the team this year? Yeah, he's, he's, he's been tremendous. I mean, we know the skill set he has with the puck and what he can do on the offensive blue line, and he's really bought into uh, our methodology and how we want to defend in our own end, and he's grown. He's grown uh, a ton. Uh, he, he was, I thought, all six of our D that played today were tremendous, and uh, those two guys in particular, Nikita and, and Tristan, really, uh, they shut down another team's top line, which was great. And we're 
to shift that spot because we also asked you and Sam that you had to kind of pinch yourself. Chase Carney was just yeah. in high school uh, prior to this. He's never really played in the game this big. Yeah. He scores here. I mean, how's he feeling after this? Yeah, you know, I said that to somebody else the other day. I'm like, well, we're really young. Like, it's a lot different than last year. And you can tell, right, when we uh, started the game today, we dropped the puck. It's almost like we were deer in headlights for <laughs> two minutes. Um, I praise them after period two, all of them. Dan Lemansky, Chase Carney, and Chris Lawson. I mean, I think they had more offensive zone time than any of our lines. Um, and it was nice they got rewarded there uh, with a huge goal from Chase. And you were here last year, but in a different format. You know, I, I think everyone agrees that they, they love the best of three format, but now you're in a position that you haven't been here before where you can close a team out tomorrow. And what was the message yeah. like afterwards in the locker room? Uh, mission one complete. Like, enjoy it now while you're in this locker room. Once you leave the locker room, like, we're focused. we got to be laser sharp uh, tomorrow. It's a quick turnaround. Um, but I want them to enjoy it. That was part of my message to calm them down before the game. It's like, guys, like, embrace it. Be nervous. Like, look around the rink. Like, these are memories you're going to have for a long time. Um, I didn't want the start we had. But, like, I told them, like, we're going to be composed on the ice. But really, like, I want to be emotional on the bench. Like, have a ton of energy. Um, and try to shake those nerves as quickly as possible. Thanks, Neil.